Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam Olinger. This is uh, my new friend here, Jay. He uh, He's actually a living, breathing fan of Feud Nation. I work in a movie theater. Oh yeah, he works at the theater here yeah. in lovely Monticello, Minnesota. If I, you live in Minnesota, you can see a movie with me as well because I'm yeah. just thankful to have real life people that watch and like what I do. What, what did we see today? Uh, we saw Quentin Tarantino's latest Western, the Hateful Eight. Which he calls his eighth film, but I'm pretty sure he's done more than eight. I'm yeah, there was Death Proof. I don't think he counts Death Proof because there is Reservoir Dogs. I don't count Death Proof. The cast, it's kind of what you would expect from a Quentin Tarantino movie. He's got some of his regulars in there. Uh, one of the standouts for me was Jennifer Jason Lee. Yeah. So I haven't seen her in anything before, but no. she was really good here. Uh, it was Tim Roth, uh, Michael Madsen, people you've seen in Tarantino movies before. There was a few cast members where I was kind of like, they're in this movie? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to ruin anything. Although yeah. he does give it away in the title credit or the title sequence at the beginning, which yeah. lasts for probably 25 minutes. Yeah, so. which that's nothing new in a Tarantino movie. Even though it is three hours, it mm. is three very enjoyable hours. Mm. I wasn't like checking my phone or, uh, you know, yeah. looking around the room like how much more of this is there. This was a very well written, well acted. It was funny. Mm -hmm. I think it was very, really funny. We were both laughing yeah. pretty hard. And normally I don't like to laugh out loud in a theater because that's kind of disruptive yeah um but in this case like there were some times where i just couldn't help it just how There's loud like, are you laughing yeah <laughs> <laughs> the story he sets up here kind of plays out like clue which i'm i know a lot of people have said that already but have they yeah so oh. yeah stuckman said it before yeah, fuck chris stuckman i'm, I'm joking <laughs> no problem with chris stuckman but no. yeah I, I said that during the movie and i'm like this kind of reminds me of clue especially some of the yeah. dialogue and i i actually thought when i was watching at times it seemed like a live a play going on yeah how, how he would set the stage there would be a wide shot there'd be two characters mm -hmm. on the side silently talking and then and there'd be just the focal be focused point. on yeah. the, the main people that are speaking yeah even and the lighting you know you'd have light yeah. kind of like shimmering through yeah. you get the like silhouette of the snow outside you mentioned the lighting and everything something mm -hmm. i had to point out was that you know he filmed this with 75 millimeter cameras yeah and i love how directors not just him but even like jj abrams with the force awakens and uh, Christopher McQuarrie with Mission Impossible Rogue Nation doing a lot of practical action and everything. They are bringing back these old-fashioned techniques, yeah. you know, kind of not going the CGI route, you know. And using those cameras, I thought, okay, that's just kind of a gimmick to pay tribute to, you know, his influences. Right. Um, but no, that actually added something to the movie because it felt so authentic. And I kind of felt the same way with The Force Awakens because you know, it had that authenticity that kind of hooked you in. Like, when they were inside bundling up and it was helped that it was cold in the theater. Like, he actually had to put his jacket on. I I'm just actually mm -hmm. soaking in all your knowledge. I think you know more about movies than I do. So I'm just <laughs> taking it. I'm just sitting here listening like a, a person watching. So no, very, I very very well done. We gotta mention the best character in the movie. We both agreed that Kurt Russell's character. Oh yeah. He was just savage. And you know, you talk about bringing back old-fashioned things. It's great that Kurt Russell's back yeah. in the films. I mean, Fury Seven. We both agree doesn't count. Oh well, yeah, that doesn't really count. He was, um, he was underutilized, but here it's it's full on Kurt Russell. Yeah, full you're on Kurt his Russell. Expressions. You're getting his over the top mm -hmm. mannerisms. It was yeah. Great. And same with Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, he you know? was fantastic in this movie. He was, uh, yeah. And talk he about flipping definitely. the script from just his last film with Quentin Tarantino, where he's yeah. playing on the side of yeah. the whites. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I hate black people, and now here yeah. he is. For a movie with only two settings, which is out in the cold and in this cabin that they're in, it felt there was an awful lot going on. Yeah, it, it kind of reminded me of um, Panic Room. I don't know if you remember that David movie. Fincher. David Fincher vehicle. Fincher love, love. I love David Fincher, and even yeah. Panic Room I think is very underrated for, yeah. uh, for his films. It reminded me of that because there's really just one central hub mm -hmm. where everything's taking place. It's claustrophobic, yeah. like in Panic Room. Yes. Or even like The Martian, where you know he's mm -hmm. just stranded on this planet. You really feel that yeah. in this movie. That's something that Quentin Tarantino. Is or like us in this good. car. I mean, you really yeah. feel like you're in the car with us, <laughs> yeah. freezing your ass off. Because Being it's like this, 15 like, degrees out in Minnesota. Yeah, out in this like uncomfortable space because I have to fit in with this camera. Yeah, right no, here. it's it's that's high tech. Let's not let's not just what's going on. Oh here. yeah, let's drop a rating on this, and I'm gonna let uh, you go first because I'm still up in the air what I'm gonna give this thing. You know what? To be honest, I am too. We're probably gonna have to add like a little cut in between. Okay. Here. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> well, uh, just, um, hey Trish, can you put a cut in here? That, yeah. that, there's nobody there. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe well, she's out there. Well, I thought somebody. I thought I saw somebody peeking over there. It's just like, a homeless what? guy. We we ignore them. 
Um, so for now, I'm going to give it an A. Yep. Because, you know, it's just my, you know, Well, my we height. do we do numbers on this show, so oh, 1 we through do 10. On 1 through 10. Uh, Huge fan over here. Huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> For me, I got to go 9.5. 9.5. I love wow. this movie. Just like, at first, wow, not that's to mention, because like, you know, I was a bit skeptical, like you were going in, so I was kind of like, uh, I don't know, but I came out so happy. Yeah. And like, I was shaking at times just about how truly suspenseful it, it was. It was intense. Yeah. I think for this, I'm going to, I'm going to go a nine. I think that it's, you know, it was, it's a little slow paced. But it's okay. Yeah. The payoff is there. Yeah, it's not a movie I'm I'm gonna want to watch maybe more than one more time, if even that. It's it's one experience and done for me. Yeah. Um, but it was a great experience. I, There's the reviews. Um, let's hear from you in the comments as always. Yeah. I encourage it. That's what the show's all about: is engaging with our fans. I mean, I got one in the car with me for fuck's sake. You're yeah. not gonna see Chris Stuckman bringing <laughs> fans in his car. Once again, nothing against Chris Stuckman. Nothing against Chris. Stuckman. Until next time, we'll see you right here in the car. I know. Uh, oh, that's where I end. But go ahead. Let's 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 keep yeah, hearing let's, from Jay. Let's keep. Um, you know, I was kind of debating on doing this because I thought, okay, well, my content. Is oh yeah, you were like, gonna plug your show, and then I was gonna kick you out. I don't post the greatest content on the planet. That's not a way to sell it. That's but not a way to sell it. But I'm an honest human being, so that's why I have to say that. But if you want to check out my channel, Firebird Films, I do occasional movie reviews. I do a lot of skits and everything. I run a show and everything. So if you want to check that out, feel free to. I won't think any less of you if you don't. You know. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining yeah. me. Most, oh. most of the people I go to movies with bounce at this point. I'm glad you stuck around to do the review. Yeah, me too. And uh, I already said goodbye to you guys. I don't know why you're yeah. still here watching. Yeah. Get um, out of here. Let's, we, we can actually both leave. I'm just going to leave my car here overnight. All right, I got to go uh, start my car. It's cold outside. I don't really like you next to me because your youth is just radiant over here and my Ouch. old withered age is just yeah. just showing through on the camera I'm, I'm, lens. I'm like, well, I mean... The, the crow's feet and the, this, the depressing light <laughs> that's fallen over me.